Hey, what's up everyone? So I've got a new solar panel installed in my house. It's a uh, Fronius um, inverter. So, and a uh, Trina solar uh, for the solar panels. It's just a five kilowatts uh, uh, solar system. Um, in as much as I'd like to uh, get uh, something higher, but um, I only have a single phase uh, system in my house and uh, I've learned that it's uh, too expensive uh, here in Australia to um, convert um, a single phase to three phase but uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys in the comment section so yes yeah, so I've got um, a Fronius uh, a Primo Gen 24 inverter 5 kilowatts and I've got uh, 15 panels of uh, Trina solar and uh, this is uh, from the um, uh, solar company. Uh, this is the daily production uh, per month, uh, just the estimated. So right now we're in uh, Feb. So anyway, um, I still have to check this. I have to observe this in the next few months since uh, this was just uh, newly installed um, this week. So I'll, I'll show you how I... Um, integrated my uh, solar system in Home Assistant. So basically, I've already uh, done it um, yesterday, but I'll just uh, simulate how I uh, integrate it to my Home Assistant. So uh, first, I went to my router. I need to uh, get the assigned IP address of my Fronius inverter, which is in my case, it's uh, 192.168.2.87. And then on my home assistant, I had to go to device and services and add an integration. So from there, I selected the first uh, option. And because uh, uh, I've learned that the Fronius uh, solar web, this is for, this would require API access, which uh, from what I've learned, uh, it's more on for uh, installers. So correct me again if I'm wrong, but uh, I went for the first option, which would ask me for either the host name or the IP address of uh, my device. So I simply added here um, the device, which is 192.168.2.87. And bada bing bada boom, that was added as a device. And what I've noticed, um, it it detect uh, it detected the two device. One is uh, this one with around um, how many uh, seven sensors. I think this is the most uh, essential one. It got the uh, AC current, um, also the uh, uh, total um, energy uh, generated. But uh, if we go to the other one, yeah, um, it has um, the uh, PV. Uh, I guess uh, this is the uh, PV generation, which I found uh, accurate when I compared it to uh, Solar Web uh, website. So as you can see, um, right now utilization is around uh, 77%. It's about uh, 3.8 kilowatts. And um, yeah, it's likely uh, within within that range. It's um, maybe uh, it it was uh, um, uh, made uh, four kilowatts, um, but it's it's uh, close. Maybe it it's uh, round rounded off. But um, yeah, so basically that's it. Um, yeah, again, uh, when you go to devices, once you've added the, either the host name or or uh, the IP address, it will be detected. And uh, yeah, from there, I can make um, automations, which I still have to explore. I can use uh, the Fronius device as a uh, trigger, probably um, something like uh, when the total energy changes, um, let's say above, um, above let's say, uh, three, say for example three i can uh, probably um, uh, trigger a device like let's say my lights i can turn it on and 
yeah. Uh, let's say I can turn on um, either an outlet or a light uh, and so on. Okay. So, yeah, basically that's it. Um, that's uh, how I uh, generated my uh, my Fronius, um, uh, I mean, uh, my Fronius inverter to my home assistant and uh, basically on my uh in my main page, uh, which is a bit uh, messy right now, I just added this uh, three um, uh, three items, which is the generated um, uh, power, the total energy, and uh, it's uh, the inverter state, which is uh, if it's uh, running or if there's an error. So yeah, that's uh, uh, that's about it, uh, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.